Hello, in today's video we will be doing something a little bit different than normal. This will be a hardware overview slash preview of the SKR Mini E3 V2 3D controller board from Big Tree Tech. Firstly, I would like to acknowledge and thank Banggood for providing this board for review. They simply provided the board on the condition that I make a video about it, and the words and opinions in this video are my own. There will be an affiliated link below if you wish to purchase the SKR Mini E3 V2 through Banggood, and this does provide a small kickback towards me to help out the channel. This of course though is entirely optional as the SKR Mini E3 is available from multiple vendors. Now as I've said, this is an overview slash preview of the board. This one here has not been brought online yet, but I have run its predecessor, the E3 Mini V1.2, and the V2 is an improvement on that board. Starting off with the basics, this board is a 3D printer controller board. It supports both 12 and 24 volt input, has a 32 bit MCU and four motor drivers. It also supports the most common components 3D printers require. Going into more detail, I'll go over what this board has, along with some pros and cons of its features and why you may want to use it in your build. While the SKR Mini E3 is designed as a drop-in replacement for the Ender 3 controller board, this does not limit you from using it in that use case only. This board, for example, will be used to control the Voron V0 that I'm currently building. At its heart is the 32-bit STM32F103 MCU. This MCU will allow you to run the latest version of Marlin with room to spare for those running just the board by itself. However, for those such as myself that prefer running Clipper along with a Raspberry Pi as their firmware of choice, this board allows a step rate of up to 360,000 steps per second with three motors active. While not quite as fast as the 711,000 steps of the STM32F407, it's a significant bump up from the 102,000 steps of the lowly 8-bit ramps. And for those running 0.9 degree steppers and higher micro-stepping, this is something to keep in mind. For drivers, we have four of my favorites, the TMC2209. These are improvement on the 2208s and are, in my opinion, the best all-around driver for the majority of 3DP use cases. They support both stealth chop and spread cycle for when either quietness or torque is preferred, stall guard for sensorless homing, stall detection for those running firmwares that support skip step detection, and they also allow firmware configurable current adjustment. No more adjusting a potentiometer and using a multimeter to ensure your motors are getting the right amount of juice they need. They also run cooler than previous generations of TMC drivers. And along with the improved PCB heat sinking of the V2 and add-on heat sinks can allow for them to run without active cooling. With the NEMA 14s of my V0, this was something I was doing on the older revision of this board without issue. Now, this all depends on your current settings and of course, you may need active cooling at higher current settings. Now, we do of course only have four motor drivers. While the Z driver has two connectors, these run in parallel. So if your printer requires more than four independent motors, you will need to step up to a bigger board or run two of these boards in tandem as Clipper allows multiple MCU. For additional hookups, we have automatic shutdown, power resume, connectors for the BL touch and a filament detector as well. For end stops, we only have one for X, Y, and Z. While most printer designs only require one end stop per axis, if you do require both a minimum and maximum end stop, this board will not be able to support that. We have two fan headers and compared to the V1.2 board, both are now controllable. A single hot end connector and a single heated bed connector, which compared to the MOSFET on the V1.2 revision of this board has been beefed up as well. So for that reason alone, if you're running a DC bed with your SKR Mini E3, I highly recommend the V2 revision. The 20 amp fuse is also replaceable, which is a nice feature to have in case the blue smoke decides to escape. Included with your board is four heat sinks for the TMC drivers, some jumpers for hardware configuration, a USB cable, and of course, a rubber ducky. This board is a solid performer and comes in a nice compact size. It includes just about everything you need for a standard 3D printer build, as long as you do not need more than four controlled motors, a single hot end, and a DC bed. Now, of course, with say an AC bed controlled with an SSR through the power deck connector, you could use the now free bed MOSFET to run another hot end or say a third controller fan. And for more advanced builds, such as those using multi Z motors, a tool changer or multi extruder setups, you can run two of these beds in tandem with Clipper to double the available connections and add-ons. In conclusion, the SKR Mini E3 V2 is in my opinion, one of the best all around 
all-in-one printer controller boards at this time. It comes with what's needed to control most standard printer builds, is quiet, and supports most of the higher-end feature printer builders want in their printers these days. The SKR Mini E3 V2 is available for most 3D printer part vendors, and if you do wish to purchase one through Banggood with the affiliate link below, I do receive a small kickback from that, and there's no additional cost for doing so. I hope you have found this video informative. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like this video, and if you have not joined the Voron Discord yet, please do. We do have an amazing community there full of people that are willing to help you with your Voron build. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, don't forget to do that so you can follow along with all my current builds and projects. Be safe out there, wash your hands, and have yourselves a great day. Thank you.